Good morning, y'all. Today is Monday, and this week, my goal is to just get into my healthy, productive, like, morning routines. It is currently, like, 6.20, I think. I am about to ice roll and journal, and then I'm going on a walk, and I'm going to work out. I have just been feeling, like, a little bit off lately and not... Great guys, love to get my eyes rolling. I have just been feeling like a little bit off lately, like not really fully myself, not like, I don't even know how to describe it, just not like almost grounded and like set on my goals. So yesterday I had a really good Sunday at home. I woke up with 100 on my readiness score, which I think was a fluke. I was tired by like two, but I was just like, what? I did go to bed early and it was standard taping size, but still. The live show is Friday. I'm very excited. Um, and Breadwinning Housewife Home Drop. So if you guys are seeing this by November 11th, the Breadwinning Housewife Home Collection is out. It's a big week and I just need to get back on my early morning routines. So I'm running my day and my days are running me. You know what I mean? So I'm also going to go back to journaling in the morning and just like all my healthy routines. I'm really excited. Hope that this um, inspires y'all to do the same if you're feeling that way because that's what sometimes like I need to watch like morning routine videos and shit like that to get like back on it. So anyways, subscribe if y'all are new. because I need to get freshly organized. I went weightlifting, what else have I done? Just been, what I was doing important things and now I can't remember. My cowboy boot closet is in the middle of getting set up. My plans kinda got moved today, so I'm actually gonna be home working. I'm just really living my best life. This week is a little exciting. Um, so I do have a professional organizer that is coming next week, thankfully. I'm hosting Friendsgiving next week as well, so I was planning stuff for that. I had to approve a bunch of videos. A new podcast episode went live today with Ashley Cook. It's a really good episode. Definitely go listen. And there's just so many birthdays coming up, and I'm always the friend that plans a birthday, so I've been like, lots of stuff, you know? Oh, I have my Hudson House leftover from last night. Thank God I'm gonna have that for dinner. Oh, I also, let me show you guys this. Now that I'm a health queen and we're becoming runners, isn't that crazy? Macy and I just, I don't know. We were like, should we just do it? Like we kept making jokes about it. And I was like, wait, like what if we had to catch 5K? Well, really I think it was Macy. Now Macy wants to run a marathon, like calm down. By the way, if y'all don't follow Macy, she's the best TikTok, she's so funny. She also has a YouTube channel. If you like my vlogs, you like her vlogs, you guys should subscribe. What I did this morning, you're gonna be like, Kenzie, no eggs, ignore the dishes. I'm in the middle of doing this. I'm not in the middle of doing them, I'm putting them off, let's be honest. But anyways, Ritual Essential Protein Powder. Ah, uh, not sponsored. This seems sponsored, it's not. Bought this with my own money, okay? And I was like, I need to start having like protein powders anyways after weightlifting. It's like especially after running. So I did have one, pretty good for me, right? Now that I have an accountability partner, I'm really gonna become a runner. And by become a runner, I mean I'm just gonna do it for a little bit and like do the Cash to 5K app thing. That's what I've done it before. I've tried to do it since and I just like got bored. And now we're doing it again. So anyways, I'm gonna have a really great just day to myself at home working and get my shit together. And then getting my nails done tonight. It is later. I am so sleepy today. It's been raining. I just took an hour at nap like on accident. Woke up. Also, it's driving me insane that my face doesn't match my neck. Having coffee. It's at 5. It's literally 5 p.m. I have a meeting in like an hour and I need to record podcast intros and outros. But the most exciting thing has happened, okay? I've been talking about this cowboy boot closet for so long and it has finally happened. Um, I don't like the white on the ground. I need to like chip that off the floor. But let me just tell you how amazing. I decided to keep the door off just so it could feel a little bit more open. And I just think it adds like so much personality to the room and it's just so much fun. I'm gonna put my boots on here. I hope that this is enough space. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. And I only have more cowboy boots, but uh, Oh, just lost connection. Uh, I was just gonna show you guys that I was on a call with Jessica for the O-Kind, but 
Good morning guys, it is 6.50. I'm on my way to go run. We are becoming runners, as you guys saw. Also, my lips are so chapped, like they're painful. I don't know what happened in between now and last night. Oh, Lauren and I got our nails done last night. I got red for the first time ever. I'm not a red girl. Like if I had to pick a least favorite color, it honestly might be red. It's just not my vibe, but I like the red nails that I've been seeing everywhere. And I felt like holidays are coming. It's when's the better time, you know? Maybe I do like red nails. Kind of feel classy. I'm into it, I like the idea. So anyways, I've said it a lot in the past and I still mean this and I do say this when I talk about anything like fitnessy, but I think it's really important when you work out to do and find the workout that you like because that's the only one that you're gonna stick with and you should just like doing it. Like you shouldn't be like killing yourself every day doing some workout that you hate. Like I hate hit workouts. You will not catch me doing a hit workout. Like I, I don't like them, I won't do it. Um, besides like, there's a few classes that I could get behind, but like I prefer weightlifting now over everything and Pilates and I do like boxing a lot, but for some reason I just haven't felt like I wanna be punching something, that might be a good sign. And I'm normally not into running. Like I normally am not a runner and it's not what I wanna do and whatever. And I've done Couch to 5K before and for some reason I did just like really like it. And it doesn't mean that it's gonna build a lifestyle of running for me. I don't just go out and run. Couch to 5K is an app that like builds your running so you learn how to run a 5K essentially. Um, and I'm not a runner. Like I can't just get up and run three miles randomly at all so i am doing it as like a challenge and something fun like macy and i are doing it together which makes it better but even though running is really a hit or miss for me i think i might like it this time and i kind of just want to try something new but normally do whatever workouts you really love and find one that you like and like normally i for walking i'm a walker i'm a walker that's me the first day is so easy it's like six minutes of running like in intervals, so I'm not really stressed yet. I'm back from my run, I showered, I kind of dried my hair, which feels very productive. I've just been cleaning my house because it's gotten a little cluttered, but I wanted to show you guys what I just got in the mail. This is going to be a part of my gift guides, which I'll probably be doing on TikTok, unless you guys want a full YouTube video, but I, I feel like that's kind of unnecessary. My grandma's actually coming over today, and we're doing something tomorrow. She's been helping me so much recently, so I've just been giving her as many gifts as I can, but I knew Leatherology, I knew she would love this bag. It is so cute, and you can't really see in this lighting, but okay, here we go. MB, those are her initials. So cute she is gonna be so happy when she comes today so it has like a front pocket a main pocket it has a strap it also has this handle i just think it is the cutest bag ever it's very stylish so i think it's great for anyone they have smaller ones as well i will link it below um but this is like very her style she loves like a leather bag like this and the color is perfect i just think it is so cute so I'm gonna give this to her today. It's just adorable. If you guys are looking for good gifts for a friend, for your mom, for anyone, for your grandma, aunts, whatever, Leatherology custom bags. The bag's incredible. The like actual initials aren't too overbearing to where it can look like a little bit like cheesy. This is like very classic and perfect. My desk has kind of turned into my vanity. It's 10:10. I feel like I've gotten so much done today and so much cleaning. So uh, I'm gonna give you guys gonna chat for a second I've been loving the hourglass flawless filter foundation I apply it with a real technique sponge and then I've been using the Benetent just as like a little blush and then I've been using the this line it's hold on Ashley Robertson came out with it this is the launch that I went to last week and I really like it I need to take it out of here and just put it in my makeup I don't know why I'm keeping it in here but the lip liners are so good they remind me of like the lip liners that like my mom used growing up Something about a pencil lip liner is just so much better to me. I don't know why. And I have the shade One and Only and then Define. And I'm going to use Define today. This one is Pout. It's a really pretty nude. And then this one is Always On. Again, like a really pretty nude. So my lighting in my house has just been so dark with the storms. And it's like driving me crazy. I feel like I can't fully see. The run went well. It wasn't anything crazy. You start off, we're using Couch to 5K. And it, it wasn't crazy. Um, we'll see how this goes. Like, I like a new challenge. I like things like that. I don't know if I even showed this in 
a vlog, but one of my raised beds, the like bottom of the raised bed has fallen out and it's been raining and such a mess and there's literally like dirt all over in a pile over my rug. <laughs> Love that. And plants have fallen off and I'm just like, guys, this is like not okay. So uh, my grandma's coming over today and we're gonna try to fix that. My light bulbs are all being replaced in my house. The issue is like, yes, I could just do that myself, but they're over my staircases. So like, I actually can't do that myself. What am I doing? I need to do that. I like have never used this before, but it's obviously been, ooh, such a staple from Benefit. And I like the glow it gives me. I'm recording for two podcast episodes today. I'm a guest on both. And I'm gonna do that here. One of them is in like 30 minutes. I'm last minute. Well, not even last minute. We're doing a lot of events in Dallas um, over the next two months. I'm just doing them myself with y'all. And then we're also doing some for the O Kind. The Dallas Book Club is happening. It's, I don't remember the exact date. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok because that's where I'll post it. And this is not the color that I want to use. But last minute, we're gonna do a lot of like in person shopping. So we need to do that. We're also releasing the puff bag very, very soon and a lot's just happening. So got a lot of work to do, got a lot of home stuff. I'm also like prepping for Margo and Emily to be in town for the weekend and it's just gonna be a really good time. I'm also gonna put this by Agave lip mask over my lip stuff. I just like do not feel like putting mascara on, but I feel like I should. Okay, I'm gonna comb out my brows. And then I haven't even put mascara on since getting my lashes like tinted and lifted. And they said that's when you will really see how crazy different it is. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back and show y'all. So here are the lashes. I didn't curl them anything to put mascara on. So I think there's definitely a huge difference. Didn't do anything crazy. I used the Thrive Cosmetics mascara. All right, I just finished podcast episode number one of the day. For the Not So Simple Life podcast, my grandma is almost here. Vanity has been so amazing. I have my new, well, my new marshmallow fireside candle, my favorite candle ever. This pet corrector spray randomly, Coco barks all the time and you just spray it and then it makes her stop barking. I don't spray it on her, she just like hears it and stops. It's really helpful. Here's my new little um, setup here and then I just cannot get over how amazing the closet looks. I cannot talk today, like what's going on? I just changed into comfy clothes these pants are Aritzia and they're so soft. Wearing my chocolate brown Uggs, top is Skims. My sweater is Revolve. I got it a few seasons ago. Guys, I'm like really in to my red nail look. My grandma is almost here. So we're gonna go to Jemmy's Deli for lunch. I love that place and get some food and then hopefully we're gonna fix the garden. We will see, I'm really hoping. Um, but I'm just like so cozy. Y'all, look at what my angel realtor just dropped off for me. I love her. Melanie Bray, if y'all are in Dallas, Melanie Bray. She's done actually so many of y'all's, but oh my God, that's so cute. And fave client ever. <laughs> Guys, uh, what a good surprise. I had literally no idea this was coming. Guys, my garden. I cannot believe that this has happened. Look at it. And at first it was this one and now it's these two. Little rooftop garden update. It's looking, uh, you know, it's been better. Okay, so the bottom, obviously, it fell through. And uh, we're not really quite sure how. Actually, we do know the wood like moved out and it's been a whole thing and it's gonna have to get fixed. This side of the garden was looking good. And then over here, like, we're making progress. So we're gonna have to get a new raised bed. The basil is over water because of the storm. Oregano was looking good. The rosemary, more oregano over here. And look at this, guys. Things are really starting to happen. This is so sad. We realized that the boards are like bowing out, which is what I was trying to say. Like these are now too small for this. So I don't know. Overstock's going to hopefully need to send me a new one. But look at our updates. The kale was doing really well as well down there on the ground now. We haven't even labeled this stuff, so I'm forgetting what it is. We have cabbage, onions, oregano. But like we have some updates, some garden updates. Oh, even look at that. But it's really sad because there was a lot that... See, you can see the green just down there. That's just gone. Thanks to my raised garden bed that somehow just like, I don't know, it's very upsetting. But what is this, arugula, right? Yeah, we've got arugula. Maiga brought me some 
like planter labels. I could not tell you what that is. Like I just don't even remember what we planted. I do have photos. It's looking good. The basil is overwatered. The rosemary is kind of staying the same, but it's not overwatered by me for the record. It's the storms. Okay. Guys, I finally have light bulbs back in this hallway, so it's not super dark, but like it's looking a little green. I just shot a bunch of skim stuff. My guy left. She's gonna be at the live show. We we're talking, we we're very excited. Um, and we've made some some movement. The garden, I need to reach out to Overstock. So I'm about to do that. Need to edit some stuff. And then I have a recording for the Wavy podcast, which is Summer McKean and her sister. They just started a podcast with Dear Media, so I'm going to be a guest. But this is my outfit. I'm hoping that I get dinner with someone tonight. I have dinner plans to fell through, and I might, I don't know, I might have plans. We'll see. But my dress is Skims. This is separate from the deal. This is just another thing that I bought with my own money. Um, and also, actually, let me show you. I had another dress arrive today. Where did I put that dress? Okay, maybe it's downstairs. No, over here it is. I have another dress that I bought that came in today as I was shooting the skim stuff. Like, I'm a true fan. It's this dress in, like, a really shimmery black, which I feel like could be good for holidays. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, what do we think? It's kind of giving, like, witch energy. Oh, it's also different because it goes all the way up. So I feel like this with like some boots, like that's like a, a look, you know? Gonna finish getting some work done and then hopefully I go to dinner. I think I'm just like really, like normally I want to stay home every night, but I'm just like really anxious, I think, for the live show without realizing it. Like I'm ready for it to be here. So I'm like, all right, I have to keep going until that happens. And it's Tuesday and I normally would love to be at home alone and we'll see if that happens. So anyways, um, I'm gonna get back to work. All right, I'm about to get on to the Zoom call. These are the lip products that I'm using today. I have the Kosas, which they literally just DM me, and I'm like, you don't understand. I love you guys. This is the lip oil in, what is this? Unbuttoned. I love their lip oil. Then I also have it, the Summer Fridays lip balm. Incredible. I'm really hoping I go to Barcelona Wine Bar for dinner. I want bone marrow. And then I'm home early to finish Matthew Perry's memoir, which we need to talk about. I'm almost done with it. I don't know, like, I don't like the narrative i don't like on the internet how it's like very trendy people to like make fun of things and be annoying especially when it's a memoir like that's someone like so near and dear to someone's heart it's like really bothers me and upsets me but like i don't know if i'm just reading it in the wrong tone of voice but it, it almost makes it like really unlikable like there's certain things that i'm like, like there's a point where he talks about how he was with this girl who's like 12 years younger than him they were like hooking up for two years they started dating and then they dated for six years he almost proposed and then did it and the next two years he like didn't sleep with her and wasn't into her literally referred to her as a buddy years later he's in town like for a show that he's in or something and he invites her to go see it because they stayed friends and she like can't go and he was like mad that she can't go because it's in her neighborhood and then she emails him that she's getting married and he was like i mean really really fucked up a horrible way basically he was just thinking like it's a really 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 rude way to like tell someone you're getting married and whatever and i'm like she didn't even owe you that. Like, you guys broke up years ago. You couldn't marry. Like, I don't know. It's just, like, kind of weird. It is interesting. I thought I was going to love it. And it is... I don't know. I read it and I feel weird. Like, I feel weird. So, I'm going to finish that tonight. I don't have that much longer of it. I've been in a little bit of a book rut. But it's a little bit odd. Like, I will say. But I'm grateful. I'm really interested in, you know, the, like, addiction of it all. And I think that's great that, I mean, you know, whatever. But, like, I don't know. It's just, like, a little bit... I don't know, maybe I'm reading it wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. I really could. And I could be reading it in the wrong tone. I don't know. God, this, this bone marrow is the best thing you'll ever have. So good. We're at Barcelona Wine Bar. Maddie's here. This looks so good. Good morning, guys. It is way lighter right now than normal. It's almost 7. I'm on my way to my second run of Couch to 5K. I almost said Couch 330. Um, couch 5k. These are the easier ones. I'm kind of sore from weightlifting Monday and then I have like an hour and a half in between and then I have weightlifting today because it's Wednesday. So I'm back at it. In between that I brought my Kindle. I'm gonna journal. Like I'm really, I'm really feeling good and very present and calm this morning which is great. I don't have that much time to like go in. I really would like to go get like go to the infrared sauna but I don't have time for that today i don't think sadly so 
anyways, tonight, oh, tonight we're going to Paradiso. It is so unlike me to go do something Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And that's how I know that I secretly am a little anxious because I don't know, I get nerves a little bit. And norm I was way more nervous before. And normally, hopefully the day of, I feel fine, hopefully. Um, like the fact that I haven't wanted to stay home by myself. finished, we got our Starbucks. You know what I was thinking? What? So there's 27 runs in this program, because it's nine weeks, yeah. three weeks, okay? And, oh, are we gonna hit by a car? Oh, no, we're oh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, there's 27? Yeah, so okay. we're at two of 27. Okay. How does that make you feel? Ah! Yeah. But and, think about it, in like eight, which is really like a week from, like two weeks, Yeah. that's 10. Yeah, we're gonna Which feel is like almost a third. That's so true. We're gonna feel so much better. It's all about like breaking it up. Like someone said you gotta put like your day in quarters. You gotta put everything in like little chunks. Yes, that's so true. Like, more of a like, weeks, yeah. It's very true. I think I wanna try an evening run at some point. Because Not regularly. I just wanna try to see if we're better then. Because we were thinking if you're like sitting all day and tired. Yeah, I have more pent up energy. Yeah. Like I'm like more ready to, you know, I don't really love I in the fall and winter. Right there. Wait, why did I think it, your car it, got towed? I literally go. Because my car is literally right there. We're, she's walking right towards it. I'm feeling really good already. Like yesterday, all day, I was in like a good mood, which is not that common. Yeah, <laughs> I am. Um, even if we wanted to quit, we can't because we made it a big deal. So if you guys want to become runners, you, yeah, even if it's hard, it. just do it. Just do it. Yeah, not just nice do it. Using this. <laughs> It is later in the afternoon, guys. I have just been working, had to run some errands. Honestly, I've been very anxious today, and I started getting nervous, which normally, I don't know, I, I like have a weird pattern of nerves. I hope that they're just all out by Friday. We'll see, like it's okay to have like a healthy bit of nerves, but I was just very anxious. So I just picked up the dogs, they got baths, got a lot of stuff to do. Oh, I did get my outfit, which I'll show y'all when I get back. I should have vlogged in it. I just was on the FaceTime and I forgot to film. So it's all pink and I got pink pants, which is what I really wanted. And it's just very me, but it's not too much. Like it's an all pink outfit, but it's done well. So I'm very pleased, I'm very excited. Picking up Dom tonight. I She called me this morning. I like forgot it was even Wednesday because she's landing super late. She called me this morning and was like, okay, I'm landing at like 10.30. And I was like, oh yeah, you are coming in today. But she's staying at Lauren's house, so that's why I like wasn't really thinking that, so. Also, I just didn't think about the fact that it was Wednesday. That's how anxious I was, you know? So anyways, I um, need to go home, get some more work done, and then around seven, Lauren and I have dinner at Paradiso, and then later we're gonna pick up Dom. So that's the plan. Fitz is back here. Mr. Handsome. Hi y'all, we're back in the closet room. Literally the best room in the house. Lauren is about to pick me up for dinner. Paradiso invited us in and Paradiso is one of my favorite restaurants in Dallas. I'm not a huge brunch person, but for Paradiso, I love brunch. We're going for dinner, obviously, but they have this like biscuits and gravy meal that isn't like what you would expect from biscuits and gravy. Like it's like a bougier version of biscuits and gravy, which also because like, which also like if I want biscuits and gravy, normally I would want like biscuits and gravy, like the real Southern thing. You know, I'm from Texas. But I will say this biscuits and gravy, it's a bougie version. So it's not exactly like what you think. You know, why don't I, I'm like really detailing this for you guys. But it's trust me, if you come to Dallas, you gotta get it for brunch because it's so good. Dom and I went like two years ago and we still talk about it. So putting on a little bit of Hollywood flawless filter and I'm getting ready for dinner. I'm very excited. I'm working on my mindset. I also, as we've talked about, I have PMDD. So the week before my cycle, I am just not okay. And today I was just like really like overwhelmed, but almost like I kept thinking like, is this a good or a bad overwhelmed? Like I couldn't really tell, but then I was just getting really emotional. I was like tearing up in the car and I was like, okay, like if, if I'm really crying over this right now, like what am I even crying about? You know, what's going on? I'm feeling a little bit better. I just have noticed like I have been working on my mindset because as I like really do believe in myself, I, I have said this for a while, like I feel like I believe in myself to a certain extent. Like I'm like, oh, I can definitely do that or I believe myself I can do that. But once it hits like a certain point career wise, I feel like there's like a block there for me. And I'm like, oh, well that's for them. 
and it's not for me and it's like no I can do that too like I can just because I'm not like a duo podcast or I'm not like I don't know XYZ like whatever it is it's like I can do that you know what I mean but I'm trying to like really drill that into my head because I feel like I don't know I just I've been harder on myself I don't know actually I was gonna say I've been harder on myself in that regard lately but I feel like I'm always kind of like that if we're being honest and I go through periods of time where it's better and then where it's worse and I just really want to work more on my mindset and like manifesting and also just being like no I can do that and I can like dream like crazy things and they can happen for me too like they happen for them they can also happen for me but I for whatever reason just have the hardest time thinking like oh well like I'm not gonna get picked or they're not gonna pick me or they're not gonna do this or like my videos aren't as popular or like my podcast isn't as popular or like this and that whatever it is like it doesn't matter because even if you were like the biggest of the biggest of the biggest like there will always be someone who actually will end up being bigger than you or has some bigger you know what I mean like you can't really like use that and also that's not even what this business is always about so anyways I'm really going off on a tangent but I just wanted to say I'm working on my mindset because I feel like I have just been a little bit harsh on myself lately and like I don't want to be like that I want to be very like no Kinsey you got this you can do this and obviously I know that like live show like nerves and stuff are probably like making this a little bit like worse like amplifying it more but I don't know I'm so excited like I was I look like a clown I literally look like a clown don't worry we're putting powder on like guys Ooh, wow my mirror is obviously not in the right place so let me just by the way this Kosas powder is so good I love this powder I was even thinking about this today and I'm like I like sure I don't have like a million subscribers or I don't have like whatever like who cares I would be so happy if like my 15 16 year old self when I started YouTube knew that I was having like a Dallas live show and people were literally flying in for it like that is so crazy I've been getting DMs today from a lot of y'all who are flying in like tonight and it's literally Wednesday or tomorrow or driving in or like whatever I would be happy if people came like they lived on the street you know like I just think that's literally the coolest thing ever and I'm so grateful and I just like don't want to take things for granted you know what I mean and I feel like sometimes when we get in our own heads it's like easy to take things for granted or be like well yeah I did that or this is happening for me but like you know because it's happened for someone else or like someone else's like bigger venues or whatever like therefore I can't be proud of myself and it's like that's so stupid like you should be proud of yourself regardless who cares like it doesn't matter like a win is a win a win is a win you know so anyways um yeah I've just been like a little bit harder on myself and I do find that I'm like this only like, one week out of the month really and it's my PMDD week like it is horrible I am going back on meds I haven't picked them up and I need to go pick them up like I've been really bad about it so Anyways, this is my makeup look. This is what I've been doing lately, and that's it. My eyelashes are, like, kind of curled from my eyelash curl thing, um, or my eyelash lift, I mean. So, I'm doing that also. I've been trying to cover this light the whole time, so if anyone can send me a good light to replace in my closet room, you would be my best friend because I really can't decide, and I'm so indecisive. Also, for my vanity, I have these little knobs that I'm going to put on. I just think they're so much more fun and, like, these are kind of like cheap looking and I just think these are more fun. Adds a little bit more like flair to it. My parents always did that. My mom always did that with dressers growing up. You really do become your mother when you grow up, so. Anyways, I'm excited to go to Paradiso and then Dom gets in tonight. So we're, Laura and I are just gonna hang out and then pick up Dom later tonight. And I'm very excited. Okay guys, we are off. Okay guys, my scarf from Abode came in from our New York pop-up. And look at how cute, first off, the Okine scarf literally the best scarf ever says piper isn't that so cute my other one says kinsey but went to parody so it was so good like that was honestly the best dinner i've had in a long time that was very very good i made some tiktoks be sure to follow kinsey the tax set on tiktok we're picking up dawn from the airport in two hours it's 9 p.m and i can fall asleep right this very second i still haven't finished matthew perry's memoir i've been reading that for like over a week that's so long for me no I read a book probably like two or three days, but I, it's just, I don't know. I haven't been in the reading mood and then it's just like making me feel weird when I read it, but I'm almost done. Anyways, we're gonna change into sweats and then wait two long hours and then pick up Dominique. It's okay, we're gonna watch BFFs. Have you ever watched BFFs? The way that Fitz loves Lauren so much more than me, is like disgusting. He is so obsessed with her. Oh my God, like he, I beg him to do this. 
Okay. Look who it is! Good morning, guys. Um, it is now Thursday, which is my favorite content day. Kardashians, lots of new podcasts, my own podcast, Jenica and Annika just came on. Jenica um, got pregnant with Annika when she was 13, and they're just kind of sharing a little bit of their story. Love them both. They're also on YouTube. You need to watch them. Um, I'm getting all this cut off. I'm getting a spray tan of the house today, a lymphatic massage. My last day, Margot and Emily get in late tonight, so that's happening. I'm very, very excited. Suddenly my nerves are gone and I feel like totally fine again. I think it was just like hormonal yesterday. Now, okay, I just put moisturizer on. Not on my trolling, but like, I just feel very puffy. Paradiso last night was so good, guys. Like, it was unreal. I made a TikTok of everything that we ordered if you guys need like recs, but it was incredible. I cannot recommend it enough. I love Paradiso, but it was so good. Dom is here, she's at Lauren's, um, which is very, feels so weird, like her not being here, but it's good. She like, has her own room and stuff there. And then um, Emily and Margot will stay here. So we're getting pretty excited for the weekend. Actually, everyone's very excited. I'm about to go on my last run of the week. I've worked out every day this week and I feel really good about that because I normally will, but like, Sometimes I'll miss one day, you know, and it throws me off. And once you get like, well, tomorrow will be five out of five. It just feels so good, you know? Doing a little run and nothing else today on day three of Couch to 5K on our running journey. And I'm just feeling better than I was feeling yesterday. Thank God. I also woke up this morning, like naturally, we normally are um, running by seven, but I we like pushed it back an hour. And, um, where is it? But I want to put sunscreen on. Go to screen, of course. I woke up like naturally and wide awake at 6.45 and I didn't go to bed until like midnight. It's crazy for me. I like don't wake up. I'll, obviously I wake up at that time when I go there. I just don't wake up like naturally and alert and awake, you know? Also, how often do you guys charge your aura rings? Because if mine died after like two or three days, like what is going on? I feel like it used to last a little longer. Sunscreen is on and we are. Finish our run. <laughs> I can do day three. I, for some reason, had like more adrenaline today. Like I felt like I wasn't in my body, therefore it was easier. I was not matching that energy. Like I woke up and I was just like, oh, oh. I'm gonna be like bouncing around soon. We finished the first week though, of nine. Eight yeah, weeks to go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're getting Starbucks. Okay guys, I'm back home to the best package ever. I stopped at Lauren's, had coffee with Lauren and Dom, but just got another package from Skims. This was sent to me for a deal that I'm doing. Look at this amazing gift set. Oh my God, like that is like the perfect gift set, especially if you're doing like matching pajamas as a family. And then also they sent me the pink like, whatever this is actually called. What is it called actually? I can look it up, I can look at it in a second. In this, I mean, have you ever seen anything softer in your whole life? I mean, it's just like perfect. Like this is so perfect. I might be wearing this today. You never know. You really never know with me. So um, that is the cozy unisex jogger and the cozy unisex knit hoodie. That's what those two things are. But I just, I'm obsessed. Like I'm literally obsessed. At first I was sad because I thought they didn't send the pink stuff. I'm just so excited. Like this is the most me thing. I think probably ever. I just shot my skim stuff because I just felt like I had to put it on immediately and I knew if I didn't take the photos then I would, I, I just need to do it now. I'm obsessed. This pink set is so beautiful. Like it's so cozy. Also, by the way, these are my, like this is my live show outfit. Pink on pink on pink. And then I have this like little skin shapewear thing that I bought separately, like not through a deal for my arms just to like see if it does anything. I don't really know. I like to just like test things out, but I'm really excited for my outfit. Like I love, and it's like, it's so me. Guys, do you remember when Dom made fun of me for using the Paris filter and then did a poll thinking that no one on Instagram uses it even though every single person on Instagram uses it and then um, now she uses it in every single story? Do you remember when uh, Kenzie turned into a pathological liar? No, that and the whole filmed. And the whole entire internet had to call her out on it? No, because it didn't happen. Guys, don't mm. worry, I have it. It's all filmed on Instagram stories, mm. I got it for you. 
That's funny. That's mm. funny. Okay, guys, we're doing a little furbish Christmas haul. I got Presley and I um, some Christmas gifts. One, well, they're for her housewarming, and then I also got them. So I got two of these, which you can also get on Revolve. I'll link them. Very cute. I will say I thought they were going to be bigger, but it's still very, very cute. I got one, and then I got us these because we're both obsessed with Christmas. Um, I got us these BFF. Those are nice. Ornaments? Aren't they cute? The, I, I like those. One will go. Well, you know what? It's crazy because you don't have a tree. And I remember telling you last year, I said, that would be a great gift for me. My roommate's, but it's weird I just got it. My roommate's Jewish, so. You shouldn't live with you last Christmas. You should keep filming. Uh, interesting. Okay, um, got this ornament. It says Merry Christmas, bitches. Also very, very cute. I love a good ornament. The older I get, the more I become my mother and I spend money on ornaments. And then I also got this like cute little takeout one. And that's it. So I'm gonna pick out my outfit for the weekend. My spray tan should be here in about an hour and then we're gonna go to Presley's. And then tonight we're getting Margot and Emily. I haven't even taken the towel. Follow me on TikTok, Road to 10K. Oh, you meant on TikTok. I was wondering what you meant. I was like, what? Hi guys, welcome to my tree. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm thinking this one should go right about really spiritual thing. Right here. I like oh you know what? No. It needs to be a little bit more full. But I would like the Merry Christmas pitches to be a little bit more obvious. I hope that works. Over here. Do you see any gaps in the tree? Probably not since I'm a pro. Do you see the tennis ornament? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have against me, dog? Nothing. <laughs> That's awesome. Are you just jealous of my tree? Yeah, yeah I am. Get it if you are. I mean, it would make sense. Look at it. You know? I am jealous. Sure. Jealous. That's crazy. I have like a full size tree since I was 17. That's fine. Oh, oh. oh. no, 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 no. Ah. Trigger warning. <laughs> Guys, furbish. This is not. Wait, like the actual hanger is, is off. And it's not even. <laughs> oh crap. Guys, uh, Furbish. Where's is this real day? life? This hanger isn't even on it. This bet you, is like so. Bet you don't want to hear about 9 11. Careful. Okay, next. We still have one to go. Maybe we're right here. Like. I'll just, that's a lot of paint and like color, but it's fine. Anyways, um, I don't know how I'm gonna fix the lights on top. My mom's gotta do that. But hope you guys enjoy me decorating my tree. Thanks. Guys, I just got out of therapy. I just almost tripped. Just got out of therapy. I'm walking in to North Park. I'm getting lunch with Maddie. She called me like 15 minutes ago. And I have like an hour and a half in between appointments. So I was like, I will meet you literally right now for lunch because I just don't want to sit by myself these days. Well, this week, I'm literally wearing Skims pajamas. I'm now on my way to the talks. I'm getting a lymphatic massage, making a TikTok again. Story of my life. Kenzie told me to stay here because apparently she's doing a fashion show, so we're gonna find out together what this tomfoolery is all about. What do you think? Wait, this is epic. Yeah. Wait, yeah. the shoes? I know, Laura. Are they Versace? Versace? No, they're uh, Yes, yeah. They look like the Versace. Um, one. I'm glad you brought that up because they are actually, I just didn't want to be, like, be that person. No. Yeah. Laura got the matching one in a different color. Wait. Um, so what's this dress for? New Year's Eve. Dude, this is sick. This skims tag, like, hanging off your bed yeah, is literally it's hilarious. It's every day, bro! On a scale from 1 to 10, how mentally ill do you think Kenzie is right now? 8.5. <laughs> this is literally what Kenzie looks like when she gets a spray tan. This version of Spongebob, the golden brown version. Every girl looks like that when they get a spray tan. Just got a spray tan from Dallas 180. If you guys need a good tan place in Dallas, Dallas 180. They come to you too. 
Kenzie gave me her roller brush. Where is it? No, I didn't give it to you. You took it, and I didn't get it. No. I just, I help her roll out. Got you jolly red um, I think you actually should maybe take this side. You might need it. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I think you have problems. <laughs> what does it say? Kind. <laughs> <laughs> just be fucking kind. Lauren got it. See, oh. Lauren, don't you think? I got wing stop. Why are you hiding from the camera? Oh, oh it's my dad calling me. Oh, yeah. See, that's how you know the vlogs are really real. My friends never know what we're filming. Something I'm like struggling with even as I get older because now I'm becoming the age of some of these like moms and teachers that were so, I mean, evil to me and my daughter and just very brash. And it's like hard for me to now understand. Like I would never, even like when she has like little beefs with her friends, it's, I always like smile and still wave because I'm like, I'm 30. I don't care what their issues are, you know? So it's hard for like me to now sit back and realize like how actually like mean women were.